Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today I've got something pretty special to show you actually and that is a new breed of modded objects so it has been a very long time since um, a new modded object has came out um, not not many people are still around actually who have made them um, in the first place and also the update um, 24 as well with the surface grids that did kill off a lot of modded objects and stuff like that but now today we finally have some new modded objects to show off um, and these are all created by the user gigaman on discord so yeah massive thank you for him um, for giving me permission to show these in a video but these are absolutely amazing i've only seen pictures of these so far in my discord server that's where i saw them and asked him to do a video on this and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing these but yeah without further ado let's get into this so they're in this simulation here called colorful gas giants and just look at these look at these so this is the picture he sent to me from this view but if we uh we can head around yeah so look, look at these these oh that's zoomed out but these are so straight i just saw it there look they disappeared and re these are weird and these are amazing i mean Look at these. So I believe these are gas giants. So if we look at composition. Okay, so they are gas giants. We can see they got the hydrogen there. But they're glowing like almost like a star. So that is that is absolutely insane. So yeah, they're, they're in a, yeah, colorful gas giants. They are gas giants. They're not stars. But wow, they have a proper glow to them. Imagine being able to make systems with these. I mean, look, let's just line them all up, for instance. I mean, just get them all separated. I mean, look at this. This is... I wonder if they could be recolored. I want to try some experiments with these as well. I want to see how they work. But if we, if we can just do this as well, chart mode. So, yeah, they all are there. So, you can see they're all gas giants. Now, when I saw these, I did think of the older... I'm guessing they're like a new sort of variant of the gasser objects, if anyone um, remembers those. And basically, those were just like tinted gas giants that were glowing. They're the closest thing I can think to what these new guys are. So if the menu opens anytime soon, that'd be nice. But yeah, they were um, weird gas giants that were tinted. And I, think, I think some had some other properties as well. But if I just get these up, these are the closest things I can think of to compare to these new objects. But even then, these have some really crazy glows around them. I mean, you can see there, like the object, the yellow object there is in the middle. You can see there is an object there. It's just this massive glow around it. If we compare it to like the older like these gasser versions they're, they're just a solid object they're not like glowing or anything i mean that one yeah so some of them did glow but yeah these are the closest things i can think of you can they, they do look similar you can see there is some similarities going on here i know a few different people um did make these as well but you can see there is some similarities but these objects are just larger then they don't have any glow outside of them like these guys do i mean here again you can see like that, that you can see the object in the middle but these guys they're literally just the object there's no glow around it it's just that they're, they're large that's why it appears the same size but yeah, these, these are the closest things I can think of to compare. I don't know if they're related in any way whatsoever. Maybe they're, these new ones are completely different in all aspects and they just look similar. Or maybe maybe they are built off those older um, ones there. But yeah, just look at these. These look these look great. I mean, if we get a lighter background, we should be able to see sort of through them. So if we try... Uh... No, that doesn't work. Well, if we're just so... so no, no, that's... Um... Yeah, so there we go, something like this. Uh, we'll use solid grey, there we go. So now you can actually see the object in the middle with the glow around it, and you've got all of the colours there. So, yeah, there they all are there. But one thing I one thing I really want to try is, I wonder if these can be... T can we change the colour of these? So let's just go to the yellow... Can, can you change these? So if I remove the bands, so and I do this, so can that can it be changed? Doesn't look like it can. So it, And you did see they were all yellow there before I removed them, So so it looks like... This can only be done in modern, is my guess. Because obviously we can add more bands, it still appears yellow. So I think, yeah, if we go to this green one again, you can see here the colours are green, but they, they appear like all blacked out at the bottom there. So that 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 definitely makes me think these are, can only be done in the files. Because if I compare it to, say, one of my custom Venuses, that Venus's atmosphere has that same problem where you can't actually see the colour for it. So if I just spawn my Venus in here. So yeah, here we go, so atmosphere colour. Again, it has this blacked out, like it's all the way at the bottom when it should be a little higher up. So this is um, also a modded object. So, I, so yeah, my guess is you can't change the colour of these without changing the game files. So yeah, there we go. But just look at these. I'm really, really, really interested in how he made these. I mean, that glow, that's beautiful. Look at that, that like, aura of blue around this. I mean, that is so cool. So we can see they're at 7,000 degrees. So one thing I want to try as well. What if we cool them down? So I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, we'll just re... No, no, that's fine. So I'll just um, remove these for the time being. 
So, yeah, we'll just work with one. So we'll work with the red one, why not? So here we go. Here's the red one. So it cools down in temperature, but what happens when it cools down? Does the glow disappear or does it stay? I wanna, let's see what happens. So here we go. Okay, so the glow does disappear. Interesting. So then it appears like this, like the older versions did. So if I increase it to 7,000 again, I'm guessing the glow reappear. Okay, so what if we make it higher? Does the... Does the does it... Okay, so nothing happens when you... Oh, it looks like it made it smaller. That's weird. So the higher temperature actually made the glow smaller. But how he made these is beyond me. But these are just crazy. I mean, wow. I mean, if we just open the simulation again, they're like they're, you can sort of mix the colours together like he did here. And like make different shapes and stuff. I mean, look at that. And there's like, see, he's got that white area in the middle from all the colours mixing. I mean, he really, really went, um, like, really, really cool when he designed this. He, he had some good, um, good ideas to, like, combine them to look like this. I mean, that is, that's really cool. So then we have this one. This one is the most like regular looking sort of star. We can sort of put that in there. We can really make some different sort of interesting patterns of all these. I mean, if we go it went red and yellow, would we get orange if we did that? No. So the yellow seems to overpower the red by the looks of it. There's the, gre the green. The yellow overpowers the green. Does it? So it mixes with the blue to make white. It mixes with the purple to make white. It mixes with the aqua to make white. And it sort of mixes with that one. That's really weird. The way these work is... These are, these are really strange, but really, really interesting at the same time. I mean, I, I kind of want to make a system with these. I mean, wow. Maybe I'll have to do another series of making systems. I mean, these objects are absolutely bonkers. I mean, just look at them. Like, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down below, because I'm, I'm, like, speechless with these. I mean, look at the glow they make. I mean, do they get affected by the glows? They, I'm sure, I'm guessing they do. So we go to graphics. We turn that off. Okay, so they do get affected by that. So they do count as like regular glows. So there's nothing like special there, but they seem to be some really weirdly made modded objects. And it's absolutely fascinating. So I'm guessing these can be done in any color since you can see with every single gas shine, all of the bands match the color of the object. So I'm guessing in the files, you could probably get this in any color you wanted. So I wonder how, wonder how a, um, maybe a black one would look. Maybe, would it would it glow like, well, I don't think the game's really programmed. I'm guessing it probably wouldn't glow at all. It'd just be all dark. But maybe some sort of like dark red or something. That could look quite cool. I mean, that's just an idea. But I'm guessing any color works with this. And that is, I mean, look at these. This is the way the colors all go for each other and stuff like that. I mean, these are some actually, these are absolutely crazy. I wonder what GM stands for. Because they all have GM. GM, what, what does that stand for? No idea. Um, maybe G means gas or something. I'm no idea what the M could stand for. But yeah, I have to ask him and um, see what they're all about. But yeah, these are awesome. And yeah, I just wanted to showcase them off for this video because wow, these are absolutely insane. And it's great to see that new modded objects are finally being made because obviously we've had ever since the surface grid update came out we've not seen a new modded object type in so 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 long since before the surface grids came out and it's good to see finally a new breed of object that has um came out so yeah all again all credit goes to the user gigaman on discord for these um he made all these by himself i believe i don't think he had anyone working with him on this but yeah these are absolutely awesome and yeah all credit um to him for making these and very very nice job indeed really really um really really enjoyed looking at these and these are they're insane but yeah guys let me know your thoughts down below um in the um, comments there it's really interested to hear what your thoughts on these are but yeah these definitely have to be some sort of modded thing that you can only do in the files because you cannot customize these so very interesting indeed i guess one more thing we could try is removing the gas and then adding it back okay so that does nothing so very interesting there so even if you remove all the gas and make it a a so-called rocky planet doesn't do anything still glows red so these are some very very weirdly made objects very interesting stuff there but yeah there we go i won't babble on anymore that is all of these new objects and yeah i have to try making a system with these um at some point i think that'd be really really awesome but yeah there we go guys so that is it for today's video so yeah like i said let me know your thoughts down below in the comments of these because i'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this as well and um, also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers which we are so 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 close let's see if we can push for that for anyone new around here let's try and push for that that'd be absolutely amazing and yeah, obviously welcome to the channel as well um i do regular universe sandbox stuff as well but i'm pretty sure you work that out by seeing the channel but yeah um massive thank you um for everyone who's recently subscribed as well and um, continues hitting that like button every video just a huge thanks to you all for that and yeah of that all out the way guys a massive thank you for watching today's video and yeah that is everything so let me know what you think down below in the comments make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye